Good day, everyone. It's been a while. Let's proceed to our next topic, which is Lesson 3.5, Professional Conduct and Ethics. For this lesson, um, as with other professions, security personnel also are guarded, guided rather, by their professions, conduct, and ethics in the performance, of course, in their duties. Their professional conduct and ethics are stipulated in sections 1 to 3, rule 8 of the RA 5487. Um, Security Guard Creed, Code of Ethics and Code of Conduct, which means all members of PSA and private detective agency shall strictly observe their creed, Code of Ethics and Code of Conduct. So, yun. Um, our security guards kailangan um, ma-observe yung Code of Ethics at Code of Conduct. Pagiging isang security guard, pagiging isang private detective agency. Or to our next slide, security guards creed. Um, feel, alam ko na itong security guards creed pinasaulo na sa atin. And alam ko na nabasa na natin ito. And babasahin ko din siya ngayon. Um, as a security guard, as uh, my fundamental duty is to protect lives. Yes, protect lives and of course, property. To maintain order within the vicinity. My place of duty to protect the interests of my employer and our clients in the security and stability of our government and country within comp and within compromise and prejudice Honest in my actions, words, and thoughts, and do my best to uphold the principles, makajos, makabayan, at makata. So, ito yung security guard screed. So, next slide. Ethical standard. For ethical standard, of course, um, we have, as a security guard, um, his fundamental duty is to serve interests. Our mission of his agency in compliance with the contact entered with client or customer of the agency he is supposed to serve. So next, he shall be honest. Again, he shall be honest sa in, in thoughts and deeds both in his personal and official. Obeying the law of the lands and the regulations prescribed by the agency and those established by the company he is supposed to protect. Um, yun, as a security guard, napaka-importante pagiging honest kundi sa kanyang pagsa, sa kanyang binibitawang salita at sa kanyang ginagawang action. For letter C, he shall not reveal any confidential information. So, kung natatandaan nyo yung um, alam Alam ko napaka-importante ang information. Um, and na-discuss din namin yun sa aming physical security, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, um, which is to protect the information. Because napaka-importante sa isang organization ang information, lalo na kung ito ay confidential. Confided to him as a security guard and such other matters imposed upon him by law. For letter D, he shall always act with decorum and he shall not permit personal feelings, prejudice, and undue friendship to influence his actuation while in the performance of his official function. It's self-explanatory. Lahat, um, madali naman siyang intindihan. So let's proceed on letter C. He shall not compromise with criminals and other lawless elements to prejudice of the customers or client and shall assist the government in its relentless drive against lawlessness and other form of criminality. And for letter F, he shall carry out his assigned duties 
as required by law to the best of his ability and shall safeguard life and property the best of the establishment he is assigned to. So, dito sa letter F, ang ating security guard or ating private agency ay nag-a-assign ng bawat duty para protektahan ang buhay, hindi lang basta buhay, mga gamit at yung mga importante bagay sa atin bilang isang tao. For letter G, it, ito yung importante. He shall wear his uniform, beige, patches, insignia, properly as a symbol of public trust and confidence. Again, is a symbol of public trust and confidence as an honest and trustworthy security guard and private detectives. Dito sa letter G, um, ito yung madalas nating napapansin. Kasi pag talaga, pag syempre, pag isang, isang police or isang security guard, feeling natin safe tayo. Bawa sa isang uh, checkpoint of session checkpoint o kaya nagpapatrol yung mga police or nagpapatrol visibility um, ang mga police natin, feeling natin um, ano tayo, secured kasi suot nila yung kanilang uniform and patches and letter H, he shall keep his allegiance first to the government he is assigned to serve with loyalty and utmost dedication in the with loyalty letter i he shall diligently and progressively familiarize himself with his rules and regulation dito naman napaka impossible naman dapat daw ang isang security guard or isang police officer or isang uniform personnel, um, dapat, familiar, dapat daw familiarize siya sa isang rules and regulations. Kasi, parang sa akin, pag, dapat may knowledge daw ang isang police officer. And napaka-importante yun. Kasi dapat alam daw nila yung rules and regulations laid down by his agency and those of the customers or client. For letter J, he shall at all be courteous, respectful, and salute his superior officers. So, yun. Uh, meron akong isang kwento dito. Um, di ba siya isang kwento? Share ko lang. <laughs> dito sa respectful and salute his superior officers. Kasi may kailala ko na um, yun daw time na hindi daw siya nakapagsalute. Kasi minsan kasi ang mga police officer daw natin is nakasibilyan, di ba? Pag minsan nakasibilyan sila, hindi natin alam na superior officer pala natin yun. Superior officer pala niya. So, ang nangyari sa kanya, kumbaga, mas masakit naman sa feeling na um, superior officers ka tapos nadandaanan ka lang without salute or greet him or her. Kaya, yun, Kaya napaka-importante yung makilala mo kung sino yung kung sino sino yung superior officers mo and of course government officials and officials of the establishment where he assigned and the company he is supposed to serve. K He shall report for duty always in proper uniform and neat in his appearance. Yun daw report for his duty. Kailangan daw proper uniform at malinis tingnan yung kanyang itsura, di ba? Para naman mukhang komportable, presentable. L, he shall learn at heart and strictly observe the laws and regulation governing the use of firearms. So, yun nga, dito sa firearms, lalo na pag sa police, madam, alam natin, aware tayo na madaming mga um, sasangkot na kaso pagdating sa mga police kasi hindi sa pag, hindi nila ginagamit yung firearms nila sa tama, ba 
Kaya sabi dito, learn at heart, strictly observe the law with the use of firearms. Kung gano talaga, kaya importante, alam mo yung um, kung paano mo disiplinahin ang paggamit ng isang firearms. And code of conduct. So code of conduct, letter A, he shall always carry with him during his tour of his license, identification card, duty detail order with an authority to carry firearms. So yun, kailangan daw sa isang duty officers laging daladala yung kanyang license identification card. O pagkakakilala na isa siyang um, security guard or isa siyang police, police officer or uniform personnel. Sa code of, code of conduct sa letter B, he shall not use his license and privilege to prejudice of the public, the client, or customer and his agency. So yun, hindi daw pwede, hindi naman maganda na kagamitin mo yung license, yung license mo para matakasan mo yung iba mong, uh, iba mong kaso or paglabagman sa isang public ordinance, something like that. Yung, then letter C, he shall not engage in any unnecessary conversation with anybody except in the discharge of his work and shall at all times keep himself alert during his tour of duty. And the next is letter D, he shall not read newspaper, magazines, book, etc. while actually performing his duty. Um, so yun, hindi daw pwede magbasa kasi dapat pag duty, kaila duty, focus sa mga mm, Okay, letter E. He shall not drink, of course. He shall not drink before and during his tour of 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 duty. So yun, hindi daw dapat lasing bago o pagkatapos ng tour ng kanyang pag sa kanyang duty. Sa letter F, he shall know the location of the alarm box near his pause and sound the alarm in the case of fire or disorder. So yun, dapat daw aware ka. Alam mo kung nasaan yung, yung alarm box na malapit sa iyo o malapit sa sa isang sa station nyo para daw in case of emergency alam mo aware ka bilang isang security guard na kung saan kung saan matatagpuan yung mga alarm box mga ganyan of course kung may in case of fire dapat alam din niya kung paano mag-operate na extinguisher at his boss. The next one is he shall know, he or she shall know the location of the telephone. Yun, kung alam niya yung location ng alarm box, kung alam, kung paano, alam, niyo, kung alam niya kung paano gamitin ng fire, ex, fire extinguisher, dapat alam mo din kung nasaan ka, kung saan ka na kung saan ka nakadestino o kung saan ka na-deploy, dapat alam mo yung telephone number mo na malapit sa'yo. And he or she shall immediately notify the police in case of any signs of disorder, strike, riot, or any serious violation of the law. For letter J, he or his group or guard shall not participate or integrate any disorder, strike, riot or any serious violation of the law. So kung so kung ikaw na police officer dapat um, immediately nandoon ka. As soon as possible nandoon ka sa isang crime, sa isang riot, strike. And sa letter J sinasabi na hindi ka dapat ma-involve sa isang strike or riot or a serious violation of the law. For letter K, he shall assist the police in the prevention and maintenance of peace and order in the protections of life. So as a security guard, kaya assist din niya ang mga police officer 
to maintain um, peace and order in the protection of life. For example, um, kidnap. So, kung may nakidnap sa isang company or sa isang company, um, dapa um, magpwede yung magkaroon ng assist sa police officers. Next is he shall familiarize himself in the private security agency of law as amended and the PNP ASGSD implementing rules and regulation. Next, when issue a pass, he should not lend his pass to anybody. For letter N, he shall always in proper uniform shall always carry with him his basic requirements. So, ano ba yung basic requirements? Like notebook, ball pen, nightstick, or tinatawag natin siyang baton, or the radio. Mm, excuse me. So, letter O, he shall endeavor at all times to merit and be worthy of the trust and confidence of the agency he represents and the clients he serves. Okay, let's proceed to general orders. So, good day. Uh, thank you, Ms. Aldi. So, I'll tackle the general orders pattern after the 11 goals of the AFPN PNP. So, number one, to, to take charge of the post and all company properties in view. As part of a government uh, organization, uh, we should always value and prioritize what we have like the organization's belongs. Uh, kasi dito, pupunta yung mga tao kung sakasakali na meron silang concern. Then, for number two, to walk during his tour of duty in the military manner, keeping always on the alert and observing everything that takes place within sight or hearing. Uh, it is to, uh, to show we are professional and has passion to serve every citizens for their safety. Then, yeah, number three, to repeat all calls from posts more distant from the guardhouse where I am stationed. Uh, yeah, they should know that uh, what happened in your post in order for them to uh, no, to be alert uh, if there are threats or something yeah, happen. You know. To report a violation of orders, I am instructed to enforce uh, to quit my post only when properly relieved, uh, then last to receive, obey, and pass on the relieving guard all orders from company officers or officials, supervisors, post in charge, or shift leader. Uh, we as uh, ano, we as a uh, professional uh, need to be uh, need to follow and comply what was commanded to us. Uh, we need to show our commitment to our job. Then yeah, slide. 14 then number 7 to talk to one except in line of duty number 8 to sound or call the alarm in case of fire or disorder the number 9 to call the officer in any not covered by instruction then to salute all company officials superior in the agency ranking public officials and commission officers of the arm of forces of the Philippines and officers of the integrity National Police and last to be a specialist watchful at night and during the time of challenging uh, to challenge all person on near or near my post and to allow no one to pass or loiter without proper authorities. Uh, those act uh, those act and the uh, gesture shows that we are obeying orders not only because uh, it's our job. But also because we are professional and very committed to protect our community. The next part. So then we pursue the professional code, code of ethics and code of conduct of agency proprietor and PSA or C S F and G S U. Code of security agency proprietor, code of ethics and code of conduct for private security agencies, company. Security Forces and Government Security Unit. <coughs> security Agency Operator's Creed. So, yun. Alam mo naman, pina, 
Kumbaga, pinasulot na ni Ma'am sa atin, so nabasa niya na yan, so hindi ka nababasa eh. Uh, security guard's fundamental duty uh, is to protect lives, property, and to meet in order with proximity of the place of duty. Uh, bakit nga ba importante ang security guard's forces? Why? Because uh, they help protect business in our school, in banks, and other important places. Uh, not only uh, not only do they protect places, but they also protect people. Uh, many famous people will hire security guards known as bodyguards or a security guard company to protect them. Yan, nag-hire sila ng ganun para, para iwas sa ano nga? Iwas sa ano nga? Iwas sa Danger. Next slide. Yeah. A. Endeavor to fulfill their professional duties in accordance with the highest moral principle, always conforming to the precept of truth, fairness, and justice. Ah, para masabi ang kanilang professional duties daw ay nakapalog na sa highest moral as a security guard. Ah, kailangan lagi silang nakatalima or sumusunod sa katotohanan, makatarungan at, at sa justisya. For letter B, uh, contribute to the national welfare by securing and preserving industrial facilities of the country through competent guarding services. Ayan, masasabing isang professional guard daw, pag meron ka ng naiambag sa national welfare uh, for a secure at uh, pag-preserve sa facility ng ating bansa. So, letter C, promote the well-being of security guard through adequate wages and other emoluments. So, yun, kinakailangan daw na maayos na nagpapasweldo uh, in order for them to serve. Uh, they should compensate it well, well and fair. For letter B, uh, with faith and diligence, uh, perform their contractual obligations for the protection of life, live, and property. Uh, Diyan, uh, kailangan na may tiwala sila sa sarili nila at may pagsumikap. Nun. Ano pa, para ma-perform nila ng maayos yung kanilang duty. Yan, in case na nasa duty sila. So, letter E, constantly endeavor to raise quality standard of private security services. Diyan, kailangan, uh, yan, kapag Patuloy na pagsikapan yung mapataas yung standard ng isang private security service. Ano yun? Yung parang madabi ka dapat alam na gano'n, no? As a security guard. Yes. So, letter F. Continuously work with the assist the law enforcement agency in the preservation of peace and order in our country. Uh, kailangan lagi naman daw nakaantabay sa mga law enforcement agency para ma-preserve ang ating kapayapaan sa ating bansa. So, now, let's proceed to the Code of Conduct. Next slide, please. For letter A, uh, they shall always ad adhere to professional ethics and refrain from practices that negate the best interest of the private security service industry. Uh, they shall always consider that unity in the profession is a vital and paramount for attainment of common adjectives. Uh, yan. Uh, a good ethics ay para maging ng confidence ng superior habang nagpo-promote ng my integrity. Ibig kong sabihin ay, uh, we will just continue that we are doing the right things. Uh, kahit walang nakakakita na ginagawa natin, uh, the importance of ethics professional life can be evidenced by number of instances showing failure of business and several scandals. Uh, masasabi ng mga sitwasyong ganun ay hindi lalala kung naobserbahan ng ayos ang standard ng ethics. Um, therefore, maintaining, maintaining ethical standard is must sa isang organization lang. At pati na rin sa pag-develop ng personalidad natin. Uh, goods ethics will lead us to maintain our honest professions. Thus, para mapatibay at maisalba ang etika o conduct na ito 
na lagi nating gawa, uh, gawing pangunahing guidance sa ating konsensya. For letter B, they shall not use deceitful means and or misrepresentation in all their business transactions. To this end, they shall avoid granting of rebates or commissions in securing guard contracts. Uh, dapat, uh, dapat sa isang professional ay hindi, uh, ano ba to? hindi siya maluloko or malilid lang. Ano. It was very unusual to our nature pero may mga tao talaga na gagawa ng paraan para ano, makapaglin lang. Yeah. They will act like they are professional security officials tapos magkakaganto, magkakaganyan sila ng individual or sa organization dahil sa sariling interes o kagustuhan nila. Uh, kaya merong code of conduct ay para yun, maiwasan na gawin yung mga yun. So, letter C, they shall not indulge in cutthroat competition by undercutting the existing contract rate between the PSA and the client and or the minimum contract rate prescribed under the PADPAW Memorandum Agreement. Uh, pinaparating lang dito, ano, yung, yung wag gawin daw yung cutthroat competition sa pagtatanggal ng kontrat, kontrata between PSA at sa mga kliyente. Saka na rin yung sa minimum contract holder. Ang cutthroat competition kasi ay isang sitwasyon kung saan ang isang competitors ay sinusubukang alisin ng ibang employee. So, slide. Thank you. Letter D, they shall pay their guards in accordance with rates fixed by law. They shall not impose any authorized deduction on the guards' earnings. They shall not obstruct the freedom of guard to seek employment elsewhere as they choose, subject to existing laws, nor accept a guard without clearance from a losing agency. Uh, dito, dito naman, tinatakil naman yung salary ng guard. Kung ano yung hindi da, ah, hindi. Kung ano yung mga hindi at dapat bawasin sa kanilang kinikita. Yan. E, when a prospective client with the existing company security force calls bids for additional security guard, all binding security agency shall observe the principle of equal pay for equal work. Uh, considering the rate of pay of the company security service and their own guards. Uh, dito naman yun yung mga business o mga establish, establishment uh, naghahanap ng mga additional security guard. Yan. Na dapat yung mga security guard, uh, ah, yung mga, dapat yung mga security guard agency, kailangan pa din na ipatupad nga yung equal pay for equal work. For letter F, they shall endeavor to raise the standard standard of service in the security professions through incentives and serving service training. Ayun. Kailangan daw dito, uh, pataasin yung standard sa serbisyo Servisyo. Uh, Servisyo ng mga security guard, pero bago daw yun, kumbaga, bago daw yun mangyari, ano, parang kinakailangan daw na maisagawa ng other, uh, in another training at sa mga incentives. Yun. Yun, alam naman natin na yung mga security guard natin, ginagampanan naman nila yung maayos ang kanilang trabaho. Slide next. For letter G, they shall establish an adequate library of books, magazines, and other publication of on security subjects, materials, references, etc. and HPSA. Yun, ang private security agency dapat ay yung magtayo daw ng library kung saan may mga libro or magazine o kaya mga reports regarding regarding ano regarding for security matters letter H they shall always be truthful and accurate in reports required by SOSIA and or the competent authorities can be prompt in the submission of the same uh, SOSIA stands for um, supervisory office for security and investigation agency.
Ayan, yun. Kailangan daw na tama at accurate, accurate yung reports na ipinapasa. Then next, they shall not under any circumstances employ for guard duty any person without a professional license as a security guard duly issued by Chief PNP. Sabi dyan, sa ay, hindi daw pwede tumanggap ang isang agency ng isang empleyado na ano, empleyado na walang lisensya na issue ng galing sa Chief PNP. Yan yung sinasabi sa letter ay. The next, last, they shall all at all times exercise vigilance and be prepared to prevent the use of their guards or agency in activities inimical to the state or national security. When activities of this nature come to their attention, they shall, as a matter of duty, render an appropriate report of the Philippine National Police Authorities. Ayan. Dapat daw laging ano, nakatutok o nagmamatsyag during their duty. Dapat daw uh, iniiwa, iniiwasan yung mga activities na makakasama sa ating siguridad. At kung may mangyari mang masama, yun, kinakailangan daw na agaran din tong i-report sa PNP authorities. Yun, halimbawa, may nagkanakawang nangyari o may nanloob. Yun, imbis na, patu <coughs> imbis na patulan, eh, dapat kailangan mo na ding i-secure ang safety mo dun sa, ano, wala ka din dun sa lugar. So, kailangan nga, tumawag ka na agad sa polis para may mag-back up sa'yo. For your secure. Yan, yun lang. Yan, thank you. Ikaw, thank you, lang. everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sana may natutulan kayo sa aming report. Good luck to us. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.